Hi guys, welcome to the video. Uh, this video is about a fix for the issues that I was personally having with the NVIDIA recording software on the graphics card. I believe it used to be called NVIDIA Shadow Play, but it's now called NVIDIA Share. But basically the issue was that my gameplay is running fine. I'm not dropping any frames whilst I'm playing. Um, but when I actually go to record the footage for the gameplay, as you can see here, it looks like it's not running at a high frame rate. It looks like it's running at 5, 10 or 15 frames per second. But actually you can see in the top left it says 80, 90, 100 frames per second. So I actually thought that this was an issue with the PC itself. I was I was going to go out, go out and upgrade it. I thought that I might need to buy a new graphics card and I've been looking into doing that as well. Just to fix this issue of trying to record gameplay and it looks very jittery and stuttery and I'm not sure why it's looking like this when it's running fine. Um, thankfully with a bit of uh, searching I've managed to find a way to actually fix this problem um, and it's, it's very very easy to do. So all you need to do is you need to go to your task manager so I press Control alt delete click on task manager and then where it says processes performance app history you need to click on details once you click on details i would sort it by name and then you need to look for the nvidia programs that are running on the computer you need to look for this nvcontainer.exe on my computer there's showing three i'm not sure how many will be showing on other computers um, but all you need to do to fix this issue is you need to right click and you need to set the priority to high and you need to do that on all three of them okay so once you've gone ahead and done that for some reason as you can see here you know the next game that i played after doing that um the frame rate will suddenly be much much better so we're playing at the same frame rate, we're playing at 80, 90 frames per second, sometimes 70, but the gameplay footage is now smooth. So I don't have that issue where the gameplay was suddenly stuttering and becoming very jittery. So yeah, basically that's the easiest way to fix this issue, um, providing obviously you don't have any problems with the components in your PC or you do need to upgrade. Um, but yeah, thankfully I've managed to find a fix and it's uh, very easy and very, very cheap as well. So if you have any questions, just uh, write a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you.